the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has arrested the former governor of Imo State, Rochas Okorocha. Okorocha, who is the senior, who is the senator representing Imo North, was arrested today at about 4:15 p.m. at his residence office in at his private office in Abuja. A source at the commission told Sahara reporters that an invitation was sent to the former governor, but that he failed to turn up as advised. EFCC operatives who had been on his trail for days stormed his office on Tuesday evening and arrested him. The anti-graft agency had in 2020 said it returned 2.7 billion naira recovered from Okorcha to the state government. Imam Usman, a zonal head of the EFCC Port Harcourt office, said the returned fund is part of the 7.9 billion naira recovered from different bank accounts linked to the ex-governor. Usman said 2.5 billion naira was returned under the short-lived administration of Emeka Ihedioha, the immediate past governor, while Hope Uzadimma, the incumbent governor of the state, received 514 million naira. The zonal head added that the EFCC would prosecute Okorucha after concluding its investigations on him. Okorocha and Uzadema, both of the All Progressive Congress, the APC, have been at loggerheads as the governor has accused his predecessor of corruption and personalizing state owned properties. All right, guys, it is what it is. That is the situation of things right now as we speak. Rochas Okorocha is cooling off in the office of the DSS. He is in detention as we speak. Well, um, we all know to a very large extent the controversy between Rocha Zokorocha and the incumbent governor of Imo State, Hope Uzadema, and how things have been going between them. Now it has taken a different turn as the former governor of Imo State has now been arrested by the EFCC and is now cooling off in detention, according to reports that are filing in. It is yet to be seen or known what these new charges would be or if the if he's been charged based on the previous um, allegations or what are the investigations. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Let's take a few reactions and hear what people are saying concerning this particular news story as it were. Chekube Okwesili Eze says they are pressurizing him not to say what he earlier say, hinted him to say. If the INEC chairman doesn't give me my certificate as senator, I will say something. Do you understand? Say that thing, nothing will happen after all. There are many in the north that EFCC ought to go after. Hmm. Okay? OBK God, Godwill Ogwo says, Owele Bonile, one, if not for anything, I respect you because during your time as governor, you were elected and not imposed by Abuja or the Supreme Court. We believe it is only you that is bold enough to tell us the true identity of the money queen somewhere in Abuja. Okay, if that is the case, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular situation as it is. Benedict Sham says, make them transfer Amgo Kuji so that he can be there, he can be their new emir, he go shock him. This dude looted Imo, Imo State's dry. Governor will finish election for him second term, can't tell Imo like say, the state, the OAM. If Buhari can convict and lock up our Eastern corrupt politicians, I would be eternally grateful to him these guys did let the, the glute emo dry. Well, okay, it is what it is. Southeast politicians are really, really a, a thing, if you'd ask me. 
But it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed. Sadiq Ahmed says, Malam Okrocha was not arrested, but he was invited by the EFCC to answer to some questions related to financial spending in his past administration. He will soon be free tomorrow. Okay, we keep our fingers crossed to see how it goes. Yemi Kemi says, if EFCC is ready to fight corruption, the arrest should be starting from the APC national leader, Bola Ahmed Tinobu, who plans to succeed Buhari. Rochas Okorocha is not only is not the only corrupt politician we have. Ekanet Derichuku Israel Noachneke says, the Supreme Court governor is really trying hard to appease Biafrans. Anyways, that won't change anything. He's still an Efulefu and he's already blacklisted for the killings of our people in Imo State. Well, it is what it is, guys. It is a very, very serious issue as it were. Whether Richard Zokrocha is arrested or not arrested, invited or not invited, one thing is certain is that he is in the custody of the EFCC for questions and um, answer session as it is. Bordering on his time in office, how he spent government money and what he did with them. This is normal. This should be normal with all ex-governors or, yes, senators, governors, and even presidents and vice presidents. They all should be able to give account of what they did while in office, immediately after leaving office. They should be able to give account. And there should be a committee made public at, on national level, you know, for these guys to come and give account of how they expended money, the debts they are owing, the money they borrowed, how they expended every cobble. Until we get it right this way from the Constitution, then we might just be choking because he would go there and the investigation would be carried out. He would lobby, you know, wherever he's found guilty and all that, he will pay some money and they will let him go. And he would be looting the remaining money. He will be enjoying the remaining loot, rather. That has been the practice with the EFCC and the other security agencies, and this should not be encouraged. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but that is what it is. Until we get things right, our politicians will continue to be a problem in the country. Well, we keep our fingers crossed. Drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share this new story with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.